get into today's business. Hi. Now, one of the things that you will quickly notice about roads in Ghana is heavy security. The main roads, both day and night, have a significant, significant. Ghana main roads have a lot of police barriers, making it safe for travelers and routes to these roads to feel safe and secured. So stick to the main roads and you should be fine. But I have diverted from the main roads through of great paths across the country. And I have not encountered any issues, but it's always important to keep an eye out for intruders whenever you decide to pack somewhere for photos and videos. Now, after traveling solo for a long time, I realized that the safest places to park are where there aren't many passerbys and even though it's almost always safe anytime i see an individual paying too much attention in a remote area this is usually the key to be on your merry way or find another location where you can be by yourself irrespective of how safe a country is now there are always going to be a few bad nuts so it's important to look out for yourself and you shouldn't run into any problems one other important factor to note is that unlike the way people mind their own business in Europe, not so much here in Africa. Here in Ghana, it's easy for people to walk up to you if you are a tourist. People say hello, others try and make a conversation. Some people also try to ask for a little money. Now, I have seen people get offended when locals walk up to them to ask for some money. Save yourself a lot of stress by sparing a little change when these things happen. Trust me. These are the same people who will give you any kind of information about the area you find yourself. So try and be tolerant and you should be fine. Bonus tip, whenever I stop in a remote area and I see an, un an unknown person, I time myself, usually about 10 minutes max to continue my drive, especially when the person looks suspicious of any kind. Now I do this because whenever someone wants to be intrusive, this is how the mind works. If you study a little bit about criminal minds, you would realize that most criminals must first investigate a scene to make it eligible to take advantage. So if you are traveling solo and anyone for any reason wants to rob you, they usually would have already spotted you and had the time to put in, well, put in place a, a plan to rob you before you even notice. So that limited time for any criminal to plan is the advantage you have to get out of the area before they engage. This is why I give myself a maximum of 10 minutes to leave an area where I notice suspicious or unfriendly faces lurking around. However, in Ghana, I have drove through the greater Accra region, eastern region, Volta region, the central region, western region, Ashanti region, Bronga Havo, which is now the Bono regions, and drove all the way up to the Savannah re regions by road. And I dare to say that Ghana is the safest country in West Africa. This is from my own perspective due to my travel experience across the country. So, are you a solo traveler or thinking of traveling solo around the country? I have explored alone from Accra to Cape Coast, Takwadehu, Kufuridia, Kumase, Sunyane, Tamale. And I can assure you that Ghana is totally safe. And for solo travel and tourism, there are a lot of hotels, guest lodge facilities in every region and district. Plus, good food in every part of the country. So let's travel safe. I hope this video was of any value to you. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions and I will be glad to answer them. Red Heritage here and I'm out. <laughs>